Hello there! Today I'm going to be doing another wish video for you. The previous one went down incredibly well um, and people asked me to make another one. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I have bought a bunch more cheap supplies from Wish um, and I like to test them out to see how they compare because they have a lot of like name brands on there. Um, and my previous videos, the name brand one that I bought didn't go down too well. <laughs> So I have got a couple more name brand things here to try out. The first is this Winsor & Newton 18 Fine Acrylic Colour Set. Um, for some reason this was not labelled as such. It was actually on the website labelled as Manicure Tools, Nail Art Paint, Nail Colour Paint and Colour... So I was lucky to find it because I basically searched Winsor & Newton and it popped up but it wasn't in the art category that I could find so... I'm going to give these a go and see how they work. I also bought this Faber-Castell kneadable eraser, which is exciting. I did actually buy the coloured Faber-Castell pencils on the Wish website, but they haven't arrived yet, so I think I'm going to do a different video for that um, and actually buy Faber-Castell pencils in my local store and then kind of compare them. But for now, I'm excited to give this a go. Next up, I bought some tortillions, which are like blendable things for your pencils. And I love these things and I didn't have any left, so um, yeah. I've got a whole range of sizes here that I'm definitely going to be using with these pencils that I also bought, which are by Casimir. There's 14 drawing pencils in here, um, and I'm not someone that buys expensive pencils regardless, so they're just pencils, and I'm just going to compare them to what I've used in the past. Next, I have a little plastic palette, because it's helpful in watercolouring, it's helpful in acrylics, this is mainly for watercolours, to be honest, but um, I'm going to use it for the acrylics. Lastly, I have this little pencil travel case, which is just a travel case, so I'll just stick all my pencils in it and go, wow, look, this works. Okay, so I'm going to try these out now and let you know what I think. So, because these were labelled on the website as being for nails, I wanted to translate the front just to be sure that it was for painting with acrylics, and that's what it said. I didn't want to look stupid with a canvas, painting nail paint on a canvas so um yeah it's it's for canvases i swear i wasn't sort of i didn't have a lot of hope for these to be honest the names were not traditional paint names like i would imagine windsor newton to be even though i've not used them before and they didn't have a seal on the cap which was strange this palette was fantastic look free flap i don't know what the flap's for but it's there let me know if you know what that's for oh maybe it's for your thumb could it be for your thumb i'm not sure with the paint here as you can see I am testing out the blue because I always feel blue especially with cheaper paints in in you know particular are usually not as opaque and you really have to build them up. I did find that with these paints they went on incredibly well but I did really have to build them up and even after I'd finished I noticed that there was little white splotches where I had missed. So keep in mind if you are interested in these you need to build them up, The you know, um, especially with certain colours, I added some white to them because I found the white was quite opaque. And the black was as well, to be fair. But the rest of the colours needed a little bit of building up and a bit of layering, which you need to do anyway with paint, so if that's sort of a thing or an option for you, they might be okay. I, again, I've never used Winsor & Newton, so I don't really know what to compare them to. All I can compare them to are the sort of more student-grade paints I've used, and that's what this reminded me of. So, if you're looking for cheap, um, you know, student-grade paints, these might work. I felt $15 was a little bit steep, but, you know, maybe that's just me. These pencils, by the way, were fantastic. They were free. I didn't sort of... Ha I wasn't overly critical. This needle eraser was great, too. Basically, I was not sure what to expect. I just thought, you know, I'm not someone that does a lot of pencil sketches, but they worked quite well. I ordered them in sort of lightest to darkest, and I did find even though the lightest, I think that was 6H in this set, that was 14, it was still quite dark if I pressed down. Um, but regardless, there were so many pencils there that I could achieve anything that I wanted to with this, to be honest. The tortillions were just regular tortillions, they blended really well, and that Faber-Castell kneadable eraser was just absolutely great. I absolutely loved it, best one I've used so far without a doubt. Um, so that was that was probably my favourite thing in this entire video, to be honest, but it worked well. I was going to draw an entire face, but it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, I got lazy and just drew an eyeball. So I hope you enjoy the eyeball, I, you know, it's an eyeball. But overall, I'm very impressed with this stuff, I hope that this kind of helps you out a little bit. I, I'm still waiting on the Faber-Castell colour pencils. I'm still waiting on those. So we'll see. I will do another video at some point doing those. But overall, 
I was given a lot of sort of freedom with these pencils. I enjoyed them. Um, I don't really have any complaints. They were free. You know, I don't use expensive pencils regardless. So yeah, it worked well and I'm happy with it. By the way, um, this pencil carrier thing was just great. I absolutely loved it. It fit so many pencils. I should have counted, but I thought it would have like kind of like dodgy stitching on it or something, but it didn't. It fit all the pencils. I was even able to shove in the tortillions, even like the big tortillions managed to go in there. I also put a needable eraser in the bottom corner because there was like a space for an eraser. I wouldn't recommend doing that because it kind of sticks to the, the material, but a regular eraser would work perfectly fine. But it rolls up and you can clip it shut and I don't see why anyone would buy something like this expensive. I just don't see the point. It's just It just holds your pencils while you travel. It just rolls up. You can travel around with it and it works great. So I recommend that highly. While I'm talking, um, do feel free to follow me on Instagram, by the way, because I might be posting sort of finished products of these works because I didn't actually do it in this video. Um, I'll leave all the links in the description. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've all had a good week. I'm still doing the two videos a week in October for now. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching. That was so bad. Oh my gosh. That was so, that was so fake. Okay. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.